Hi dear Africa Business Jump Starters, we are here in Accra, Ghana at Blue Skies, which is the largest juice and fruit manufacturer here in the country and in West, West Africa. You can see a truckload of pineapples. They have three plants in the country, are the biggest employer here in Ghana and are exporting also to Europe, the US and other countries. I have to say um, Blue Sky is actually a brand that's also locally very, very popular. Now, one thing that just struck me, we had a long meeting with the founder and CEO of the company and he actually, listen to this, he started his company when he was 50 years old. He started from scratch, he lost his job in the UK, started from scratch at 50 years old and 20 years later he has built the biggest juice manufacturing company not just in Ghana and West Africa but uh, the whole continent. It's an amazing sight. Now, you know, I want to share something that I think is really outstanding for Blue Skies. And that is the culture they have in regards to their employees. Now we hear a lot that worker retention is a huge problem in Africa, meaning there is a big turnaround of workers constantly leaving their jobs and then you need to train new workers. Now Blue Skies told us that they don't have that problem. They have 100% worker retention. People want to work here, they're queuing to work here, and I now understand, or we have come to understand why that is. They do a lot for their workers. Number one, or their employees, they don't like to call them workers. Number one, they said everyone is treated equally. We don't have a special treatment for our management, be it titles, be it special car parks, be it special places to eat. Our management and leadership shares the same canteen, the same parking spaces, the same titles, so they're just called by the first, their first name as everyone else. So they put a huge company, company value um, on uh, equality, uh, diversity among workers, so from different cultures, different religions, uh, male, female, and a, work, uh, a big emphasis on, on um, the ethics of treating everyone fairly and well. That goes a long way. But women who have children, by law, get three months of maternity leave. This company is adding two weeks to the women. Not only that, it's giving paternity leave to men, which I think that's unheard of. They're giving paternity leave to new fathers as well. But not only that, they have a library, they have free Wi-Fi in the company, they have um, uh, an internet cafe where those who can't send emails from their phones can actually uh, uh, go and, and send emails from and go online they actually encourage workers to send emails if they have complaints for the management. Further, they have an in-house little hospital, I can call it, with one doctor, eight nurses. They're treating about 100 patients every day among their employees. So they have uh, 3,000 here um, at, this, at their plant. Um, they have um, hospital beds, I can call it, you know, and, and they get free medical care, including, um, you know, the distribution of free condoms, because they said we have a lot of young workers here, and, and so we, we also educate, but then we also need to make that available. And the, the, the amount of respect and, and, and well treatment you know, they give towards their employees and, and the focus on that as part of the company culture and the company policy, I mean, that's just, it just blows me away, seriously.
never seen anything like it uh, in Africa um, or, or the, the UK or, or uh, Europe. Uh, it's just amazing and I think that just explains why they have a 100% worker retention. So if you own a company or you're about, about to build a company in Africa and you struggle with workers staying uh, you know, at your company because a lot of businesses in Africa complain about that. Um, then you just know you are probably the the problem. The, the you know your 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 culture is the problem. Your business culture, your company culture is the problem. Not really the workers because if they have an environment that they get a lot of value from, they want to stay and they do stay. Maybe lastly to mention, they also pay a little bit above the, the, the or not a little bit actually, they, they pay um, about three times the minimum wage that a Ghanaian uh, worker gets. So, you know, it's a lot to learn from Blue Skies. Um, they said our doors are open. We try to be a very open company. Um, we welcome people here. And I think this is just amazing and we can learn a lot from them. There are some coconuts, coconuts being, you know, being moved here, some pineapples. All right, this is it from Dr. Hannett with more business insights into Africa. And if you are worried about worker re retention or you're providing training in this regard in Africa, then Blue Skies is most definitely um, an example to follow.